Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you about the TCX X Blast Boots available at Revzilla.com. So new for 2016, the X Blast Boots are going to replace the X Muds in TCX lineup. This is going to be their entry level dirt motocross boot. It's going to come in around that $190 price point, really aimed at riders looking to get out, play in the dirt, again, enduro, dual sport, motocross, without putting up a huge investment. Now I will say, I am very disappointed with the buckles that TCX has gone with with this. We're going to kind of get into depth, but just up front, it really left me lacking, especially considering seeing what TCX is doing with the rest of their lineup and how impressed I am with something like the X Helium and the buckles that they're using on there. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, what you're going to notice is they're going to come in sizes ranging from 38 up to 49, and they fit relatively true to size for a TCX boot. I'm a 47 in something like my X Deserts, and I would be a 47 in the X Blast as well. Now it does bear a mention that TCX is going with a more standard width to their boots. I would call this out as a regular D width boot. In the past, TCX has been a little bit on the wide side, and a lot of American riders tend to be a little bit loose in their toe box. They've just articulated the toe box down a little bit nicely, and they've gone to a more standardized width. Now as far as colorways are concerned, you're going to see the white and the black version in front of me, and then you're going to have the all black version on my left hand side. Now as I talked about in the beginning, extremely disappointed with the buckle system on the X-Blast. So let me just kind of start with talking about the buckles on this. Now, if you want to bump up to something like the X-Helium, the X-Helium buckles are some of the best buckles that I'm seeing on the market. The X-Helium buckles are buckles that I wish that we would see all TCX boots come with because they just work so well. With the X-Blast, and again, this is going to be just about $100 cheaper than something than the X-Heliums, the buckles on this are all plastic, and the way that they actually latch in the system, if you're out there riding and you take, and this is just me putting a little bit of pressure, you take just a small little hit, they just, they pop right out. So they don't have a way of latching in securely. Now the actual, the actual clasps themselves are nice and rigid, but the way it fits into the clasp, it's, it's not designed to really hold it into place and they can just pop right out. Now you're out there, you're riding around, you get dirt, you get mud, you get sand in there, and you're not even able to latch them closed once you're done. So maybe what you're thinking is you buy these, you upgrade the buckles later on. Traditionally, TCX buckles are coming in around that $12 point. Just to replace the four buckles on each boot, you're looking at right around that $100 mark right there. You might as well look at something like the X Heliums and upgrade right from the get-go. Again, if the fact that they're plastic, maybe they don't pop out on you all the time, they're going to be plastic, they're going to break, and then you're going to have to replace them anyway. Again, there's a lot of boots out there, or there's a few boots out there rather, around that $200 price point, and I think that TCX really missed the ball with this. Now I will say, as far as the overall construction of the boot's concerned, it's going to be identical to the X Helium. So let's dig into that. Again, construction, synthetic leather, a lot of TPU working its way over top here, and you're going to see the main change, again, is going to be with the sole on this where the X Helium is going to have all the same construction throughout, the sole on the X Blast is going to differ in the fact that it's going to be a stitch sole and it's going to be replaceable, but it's also not going to be that nice rigid sole that we're going to see with the Michelin sole on the X Helium. It's still going to be about a 9 out of 10 on the rigidity scale. When you turn it around to the bottom on this, you are going to have a little bit of a lateral slide to it, and then you're going to be able to kind of dig in a little bit more with the medial side on this, just allowing you to slide. You are going to have a steel toe counter as you move up to this. It is replaceable. There's three screws up top to replace that. And then the rest of the boot as we continue through this, like I said earlier, is going to be identical to the X Helium. Now with the X Helium sole, again, it's that beefier sole. With this, you're going to work that TPU around the lateral side. You're still going to have that massive amount of lateral protection. Very stiff boot to this. You are going to have those raised sections of the TPU as well. Now one of the things that I did like about this and that carries over from the X Helium is they've actually done recessed stitching throughout the TPU. This is going to protect the stitching. Make sure that you're not going to have to worry about that stitching getting caught when you're out there riding. Did a really nice job with that. Works its way up, going to give you mass amounts of grip. Raised TPU, not going to wear out on you. As we move around to the heel on this, one of the things you're going to know, there's really no heel protection. Again, you're not going to see that in the X-Helium either. You're going to have to bump up to something like the Comp Evos before you get that heel cockpit put back in there with TPU. 
working its way around to the medial side. The one thing that I do like that they carried over, again, that TPU is going to carry over to protect that bottom buckle. But again, with the fact that the whole buckle mechanism is plastic, it's not going to take much of a hit before you're replacing that buckle system. Now working your way up, you're going to have the TPU continue to the front for your shin protection. You're also going to have the accordion stretch along the top, and then you're going to have the same TPR along the back to protect you from that kicker coming up, hitting you in the back, and making you very uncomfortable. Now as we open this up, again, buckles on this, really just not something that I was expecting to see from TCX just a real kind of a step backwards in their design, even over the buckles that were being used in something like the X Muds. There's a gaiter here, not to be confused with a rain gaiter, they're not waterproof boots. You do have accordion stretch along the top for comfort. And then when you take a look at the inside, you are gonna have a sweat wicking mesh liner. Now with the blast boots, again, this is gonna be your entry level boot, but I think it could have been done nicer. If you're planning on looking at this boot, consider something like the X Heliums, Bumping up $100 from the get-go is going to get you a boot that's simply going to last a little bit longer and you're not going to have to put all the repairs into replacing plastic buckles on something like the X-Blast. Now there's a lot of riders out there rocking TCX boots and they're all going to have their opinions as well. So click the info button and check out what other riders are using as far as TCX boots are concerned on their dirt rides. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate. Get us on the phone. Give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the TCX X Blast boots. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.